Okay, okay so here, here's a, a, another right, something that came, um, that ran through my mind mm -hmm. today. So I was uh, watching a program concerning mm -hmm. um, this discovery of new superconductors. Mm -hmm. right? The superconductors allow um, almost no resistance. Mm -hmm. And the idea is to get superconductors that can operate at room temperature. Mm -hmm. Um, currently, it takes a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of input yeah. to um, to have a superconductor that is you know, zero resistance. Mm -hmm. um, when the mind is um, allowed to flow, mm -hmm. like for instance, when if an event happens in someone's life, mm -hmm. and they can just quickly process. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if someone you know sees some, uh, their mate killed in front of mm -hmm. him, him or her. Mm -hmm. Instead of the regular course mm -hmm. of going through three or four or five years of you know distress, mm -hmm. if someone's able to process that mm -hmm. in an immediate sense, yes, 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 yes is yes. is that as useful? Oh, completely. Someone... The thing is, is that you learn from the beginning is that um, people process things at completely but, uh, varying speed. Because I'm so because I'm mm -hmm. applying the idea mm -hmm. of, of a superconductor, mm -hmm. where you know you've got zero resistance to it. It's like it's happened. Yeah. Okay, it happened. Yeah, and yeah. you move yeah. on. And, 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 and yeah. then, do we not consider those people to be to have like you know certain issues, like ah, yeah. psychosis so, or yeah. um, so you know, would there be sociopaths mm -hmm. or maybe psychopaths? Um, that's very hard. So I think one of the things that I learned very quickly is the fact is that no two people process the same situation the same, mm -hmm. and the fact is that some people. Are able to process things within six weeks, eight weeks, ten weeks, and they go, you know, actually I'm better, mm -hmm. and actually I'm good now. Other people take longer to process; they might have had more difficult situations to deal with. And I, I, again, that that element of um, you should be feeling this, or you should be feeling that, right, because this is right, happening. Right, right. That's again, a, that is a fallacy because mm -hmm. actually, what you feel about a situation varies completely on so many things. Yeah. That to then sit there. So I, if someone says to me, I, I feel this way about this. Mm. Sometimes you think, oh, why would you think that for? And that's why I ask. I go, so why do you think that? Why, why is this either so difficult for you or so easy? Or why are you being so flippant? Right. Is that denial? Is it because you don't actually want to understand the situation that you're in, or is it because you have genuinely processed it and gone, actually, I'm okay with that. Um, so this is yeah. tricky as well, you know, mm. because it also, um, but we're talking about so many uh, parts of, of, of our, our being, yeah. morality being one of them. Yeah. Like, I, I could honestly say that when I was a much younger man, yeah. a much younger man, mm -hmm. you know, I could fall in love three, mm. four times a month, mm. <laughs> you know, it yeah. was easy, it was yeah. an easy process. Yeah. And I would have to argue that, um, although... Every spring that comes around, I'm, mm -hmm. I have some inspirations, mm -hmm. but you know the effort mm -hmm. it just is it, not there. Now I wonder that you know not every relationship turns out the way that you want it to turn out. Very true. And um, but certainly the way I deal with them today mm -hmm. is far, far, far removed from when I was mm -hmm. a much younger man. Yeah. And so. Um, you know this this level of conductivity, mm. which, you know, the super conductivity, mm. where we're, we're able to process things on a different level. So, if someone loses mm -hmm. a first child, mm -hmm. and let's say they lose a second child, mm -hmm. is the process any easier? Or no. the child dies from the same? Uh, again, it's, I mean, it's using it's, uh, it's using the wrong language. What's harder? What's easier? Because actually, oh. you don't know. You don't know what you're going to be like does it for some people maybe it makes it easier because they've experienced this situation mm -hmm. but, but for other people it might be hard with the fact that it kind of dominoes into and impacts them even harder because they go wow this happened to me again what am i doing wrong am i doing something? good point and good so point. Mm -hmm. to say easier or harder again it's that and this is the difficult bit you're looking at so many unknowns of the human experience because mm -hmm. you don't know I sit down in the first hour with a client and I have absolutely, the way I explain it, the way I think about it is, is that I sit down at the beginning of each se se session with a chasm in front of me. 
I have absolutely no idea where the session is going to be going. Mm, interesting. And so I am completely in the dark. I don't know how the client's been. I don't know how they have for the week. If anything's happened to them, um, maybe they've had a, uh, and maybe they've had a really bad experience on the drive in. Mm. Maybe they've had an argument the night before. I really don't know. So for me, it's a complete unknown. Right. And so when they sit down, I might have all these ideas of okay, let's talk about this or that. But actually, they bring something in. And I, so what is easier or harder that they're experiencing, I don't know. Because for them, it's in that moment, what are they finding difficult to process? Right. What are they finding the most difficult, which they feel like, for this hour, I need to actually have a focus on that particular thing. And that isn't for me to choose. Yeah, so as you were speaking those words, mm. and the thing that came to mind, yeah, you're so right. You don't know what you what has happened over the week. Mm. There are variables. Yes. Like, so like yeah. any equation, mm. um, just don't know. You just don't know. And that's, and that's really hard because people have sat down and gone, so what can you well, do for me? When variables are involved. Sorry. Yes, sorry, if yeah, you got, yeah, if you got a, yeah. a, an equation with constants. Yes, yeah. Yes. If you got with too many variables. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, and that's the thing. You sit down with... Um, I can't remember where I was going with my thought. Um, yeah, you don't know the variables. And that's the thing. And so that's it. So people sit down at the beginning of a session with me. And at, when I meet them and they go, so what can you do for me? Uh, and actually, I cannot answer that right. question Right, and, and that yeah. was this sticky question I had yeah. for the guy who wanted to give me a prescription. Yeah. And I said, yeah. no, you need to help me resolve yeah. this. I, said, I have not slept yeah. in six weeks. Yeah. And so for me, I would... So it's that question of, uh, but I can't do anything. Because actually, you are the one in control. Mm. Yeah. I, I can guide you and prompt you and all of that stuff. And actually... Number one, that's very... So the, the, the thing that they always say in the training is do not give advice. What that means is, is really the fact is that the person sitting across from you is in control of their life. Yeah. They are the driving force of the experience that they are having, which I can only, using empathy, I can empathy is the idea of getting as close as possible to the person, mm. as close as I can to experiencing what they are, but I still can't see it through their eyes. That's the thing. Absolutely. And that's what empathy is, um, really, when it comes down to it. And that's kind of really why they don't give advice, because actually, we can give we can give prompts in what to do. So, for example, write a journal. If you're struggling through, do a food diary. If you're struggling with getting up in the morning, okay, you need to write a plan on how you're mm. going to brush your teeth and comb your hair and have a shower. Right. That's the, uh, the extent. But when someone goes, I don't know what to do about this, and I have to then try and guide them to fi- figure out, well, what do you want to do about this? And that is what I do for people. Mm. That is what you're meant, that's what you're there to do. Is isn't, It's not, I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm attempting to bring out in you, what do you want to do? And that might, for some people, take six weeks. For other people, it might take 10 years. Mm. But that's not for me to decide. That's for them to decide what they want to do in the time that they want to do it. And experiment with the life that they are having, which you said life is a bunch of experiments. That's what people were doing. They're experimenting, going, I've never been like this before. I've never acted like this before. Mm. I want to try out this new thing and I'm scared. Mm. And I and that's okay to be scared because actually to change is scary. To change into someone new is a scary thing. And that is okay to be scared. Yeah. Understood. Mm. Understood. All right, man. Um, yeah, so I, I, I think, think yeah. we covered yeah. some I think. pretty heady stuff yeah. there. I'm going to um, brown, but yeah. Yeah, so I want to, um, again, thank you, Jeff, for uh, Pleasure. Uh, attending this session. Next time, I'll be on the sofa. <laughs> my yeah, head. this is what this is for, isn't it? I won't put my head in your lap. <laughs> no, please I'll don't. Just, um, yeah. yeah, so again, if people need help to sort yeah. through some of their issues, yeah. what should they do? Counselor. There's plenty of websites now to search for the counsel that you want. Search for local community centres that, that do talk groups, anything like that. Yeah. Um, you've got emergencies, you've got the Samaritans, of course, they're a great mm-hmm. organisation. Um, yeah, but find the help that you think will benefit you. I always say that. Well said, well said. Yeah. All right, my friends, I want to thank you for joining us. We'll be at it again next week. Definitely. Um, Most we'll definitely. cover some other material, yeah. um, some important stuff. Keep this in mind, 
If you're still kicking, you're still in it. Check you later. Thanks, Jack. I'll do that because I'm not just wearing these because <laughs> I'm super cool. That's probably. <laughs>